Hello everybody, this is Hussam Hurani again and today we will talk about regression and we will take a very simple example which is cars uh, and we will do training and prediction. Before I give you example, let me just uh, quickly review with you that uh, we finished so far the classification and we gave many examples and beyond the examples we explained a few things in orange data mining. But today we will talk about regression. So regression, it's about, for example, predicting the temperature for today or for tomorrow, for example. So it might be uh, uh, 20, 20.5, uh, 22, 23, etc. So we have infinite number of uh, predictions that it might uh, happen. Uh, what we will do, we will use a cars.csv file. Uh, I will leave this file uh, in the uh, GitHub uh, location. Uh, but this is a very simple uh, data set. It has car, model, volume, weight, and CO2. So based on the volume and weight, can we predict the CO2? Uh, CO2? This is what we're gonna do uh, in today's example. But in regression also, uh, orange data mining su support many uh, algorithms and models, classifiers, like linear regression, SVM, tree, random forest, KNN, graded descent, and other post. Uh, this is the data set we're gonna use today. This is very simple data set. You can find it into in one of the locations, either my GitHub or uh, in uh, W3Schools. You can download this um, uh, uh, CSV file uh, and it's very easy to use. So we have the original file, which is this one here. So we have car, model, volume, weight, and CO2. Uh, and this is sample, for example, Toyota, uh, I go uh, 1000, the weight is uh, 790, and the CO2 is 99. So we're gonna train our model based on the uh, volume weights, and we're gonna uh, uh, fit the model based on the CO2, and then I will use this small data set, I'm gonna predict uh, two values or two records. The first one, if the volume is 1001, and the weight is nine, nine, uh, 790, what will be the CO2? Uh, and if we have uh, 1,300, 2,300, what will, we, what will be the CO2? I will leave both files in the GitHub anyway, so you can use them, download them, and uh, try them yourself. So uh, let me go to the example directly, and uh, it's gonna be a very simple example. So today, we're gonna use the CSV file, which is this widget here, okay? So from the CSV file, I'm gonna uh, go and, and select the uh, cars data set, which is this one here, okay? And uh, you can see that it has car model, volume, weight, and CO2, okay? And uh, uh, let me show you uh, the actual data set also. This is the uh, data set. So we have multi records. Uh, we have car model, volume, weight, CO2. We're gonna focus into uh, to the two columns here, the two features, the volume and the weights. So we're gonna train the model based on the just two columns, okay? And based on that, uh, of course, you can see here the data table. This is the data table. You have all the records here, as you can see. We have 36 instances, small data set. Uh, but also I'm gonna uh, connect to select columns. So I select specific columns from data set because uh, I am focusing on the volume and weight. See, these are the features and I removed the car and model. I ignored, ignored the cars and model. Of course, you can bring them here again and you can play with them the way that you want. But the target I have is the CO2. CO2. So you need to set up the select column into volume weight for the features and the target is CO2 and ignore car and model. Okay. So from here, uh, we're going to connect to sell, uh, test and score. Okay. So in our data set, again, we have volume weight and CO2 and CO2. Of course, you can uh, see this uh, data set here. After I eliminated the two columns, you will see just the three columns, the CO2 volume and weight. And this is my target, okay? Now, I'm gonna connect this to um, first linear linear regression. Linear regression, because I'm doing regression. This is the linear regression. And I'm gonna connect 
this to the data also okay uh, let me just check the error sufficient is ignored for the regression satisfaction is ignored for the regression which is fine so i have let me just check here the the uh, linear regression problem no, regu no regularization that has no target of course because i connected to the csv file import by mistake it should be connected to where it should be connected to select columns okay and to select columns so uh, let me again see so we have mse 41 uh, rmse and mae and r2 as you can see from this table so this is the first uh, regression we have okay uh, now i gonna also connect it uh, so this is the first uh, model so i used linear linear regression to test and score okay this is the linear regression and this is the values let me use multi models uh, or let me use uh, another one which is for example um, sv svm so this is the svm okay and you can compare the svm is 50 and the linear regression is 40 41 now uh, let me first do prediction based on the two models that i have okay so i gonna uh, connect this to prediction as you know i will keep it here because i'm gonna add more models uh, in a bit so and from this one i gonna connect to um, c sv file and i gonna select uh, the one i i uh, i wrote myself which is the car's prediction i will leave it uh, see it just has volume weight and we have question marks in co2 so we need to predict these two instances if i have volume 1001 and uh, the weight is 9 uh, 790 what will be the co2 okay so this is the uh, predicted value so i'm gonna connect both into this i'm gonna double click on the prediction and as you can see uh, the reg linear regression it, it's a pre it predicted that the co2 will be 93 svm predicted it's gonna be 99 the co2 will be 99 for the second record it's 107 and the svm uh, predicted 101 so it, it varies from class model to another model so you need to be very careful of choosing uh, which model you're gonna use okay now let me add more uh, more uh, models more regression models <clears throat> let me use tree for example tree as you know we have we can do regression in tree so i'm gonna connect to se uh, select uh, test and score and i'm gonna connect also to prediction this is the tree also i'm gonna connect to random forest random forest and also i'm gonna connect to test and i'm gonna connect here to prediction okay i will uh, also add more models let me use most of the models but here you can see that we have different prediction per each uh, uh, model that we used per each learner okay let me also use k and n k and n i'm gonna connect to this one and the prediction also i will be using let me just put it here i will be using also uh, for example, um, gradient decent, gra gradient post, uh, posting. Okay, I'm gonna connect to test and also I'm gonna connect to prediction. Also, I'm gonna connect to add a post. Let me use most of the models for regression. I'm gonna connect to test and I'm gonna connect to prediction. And from here, you can see that all these models predicted with different values. Some of them are the same. For example, add a post gradient posting 99.99 random forest 99 svm 99 linear regression 93 394 etc 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 and uh, these are the values per each uh, the accuracy the evaluation results k and n uh, three svm these are the the values as you can see we have different values per each model uh, from the uh, training okay uh, what else uh, we have one two three four five six seven so we have seven uh, different algorithms for li linear regression 
But I think you got uh, uh, the, uh, the way how you do regression. Uh, the most important thing is to really uh, pick up the right data set and make sure that you have the right information. Uh, here we just selected certain columns, but maybe your data will have any, all the columns needed. Maybe you can have even more complex data than this one. Okay, so this is just a sample for uh, linear regression. We done testing and we done prediction. So this is for uh, today lesson. I hope that you enjoyed it and uh, we'll talk about even more regression in the coming uh, lessons and we'll see you there. Thank you very much. Bye.